What's up guys, it's Mo, and today I have another video for you on how to make some planner stickers. And today I have a video in Silhouette Studio. I haven't done a Silhouette, Silhouette? Silhouette Studio video in, I have no idea how long. Probably like a couple of years because I mainly focus on doing stuff for your Cricut. But I thought, you know, why not? Um, so there is going to be a video on this process using a silhouette and the silhouette studio and cutting it with your silhouette, etc. But then there's also going to be a video for you to use uh, or do this process and use your Cricut Explorer. So um, in this video, we're just going to be using silhouette studio in the Cricut Explorer video. We use the Cricut Sign Space and um, Pixlr, which is a free online photo editing thing. I have a couple of Pixlr tutorials. Um, on my channel for you. So today we're going to be making script stickers using your own handwriting with no fancy pants stuff required. So I have a horrible picture that I'm going to show you guys. I sat down one night and just wrote out um, a bunch of different phrases, Starbucks, pizza night, take out Joanne, Mike's, payday, whatever, family time, Kroger run, things like that. And um, I wrote them down and I, you know, decided, oh, I like this one. I don't like this one. Let's try and write pizza night a different way. Let's write movie night a different way. You can see right here, I kind of screwed up writing um, movie night. And so once I had the, the uh, phrases, I don't know the words written out and I decided which ones I like, I liked, I laid my paper down flat on my desk. I didn't even use my, my lights for this. Like I didn't need anything fancy. Just make sure that the, the area you're taking pictures in is decently lit and there's not any harsh shadows. I just laid it down on my desk. I don't even have an over light, overhead light around my desk. There's just lamps and stuff. Laid it down on my desk, turn the grid on, on my phone, on my phone camera. Um, got really close and framed in on the word I wanted to utilize. So P tonight or whatever, and made sure my phone was level and I took the picture. And then I used the uh, native, the f iPhone's native, like a photo editing app, like in the photos app, you can edit your photos. And I took something like this and I played with the exposure, um, the contrast, the highlights, the shadows to get something where the word was super dark and the background was as near to white as it could be. Um, and so I got that, um, done. I did, uh, I've got a Starbucks one and I realized this doesn't look like it says Starbucks, but it definitely says Starbucks. So there's Starbucks. I have a family time one and I have a pizza night one. And so this, the Starbucks one came out, not this, let's see here, go away. The Starbucks one, you can see I have a little bit of rogue stuff here. The Starbucks one came out best. And these other ones have a little bit of wiggliness or whatnot, but that's not going to matter. Ultimately, it's not going to matter because we're going to use the trace function in Silhouette to trace this and then color it in um, so it's dark, like firmly dark. And then also we're sizing these guys down. So they're going to be, um, the smaller they are, the less these little imperfections you're going to see. So um, what I'm going to do is let's get this back open over here on my other screen. Let's take Starbucks. I'm going to drag it into my silhouette studio here. And I don't know what version of silhouette studio that I have. Um, I'm going to hold down the alt key and just zoom out using the scroll scroll wheel on my mouse. I think it's like version three of studio of silhouette studio that I have, but you can see how big this sticker is. So that's what I mean when I say when we're sizing this down, you're not going to see a lot of the imperfections. So we're going to go and you can see that it may print low resolution because of how big we're printing it. It's like, let's go to what? Uh, scale. It's 32 inches wide. We definitely don't need that. Oh, it says it right here. We definitely don't need that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to trace. We're going to select, select, select the trace area. Then we're going to select the trace area. So I'm just dragging, um, clicking and dragging my mouse across to select this whole area. I'm going to play with the scale, bring that down. I might play with the threshold. Maybe not. Whoops. We're just trying to get, we're trying to figure out what is going to get all of these uh, letters filled in. I think I got to mess with, yeah, there we go. So what we want to do is hit trace. If you hit the first trace, it's going to trace 
the inside here, the inside here, the little inside of my A. If you trace the outer edge, it's not going to go inside here. It's going to trace everything out and around and whatever. So you're going to uh, lose the middle of the R. You're going to lose the middle of the B. So we'll hit trace. Now we can take this and we can delete it. We can see that we've got some like rogue little dots and stuff here. So what we're going to do is right click and select release compound path. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to select everything or I guess deselect everything I want to keep. So I want to make sure all of the letters are unselected. All of these little holes are unselected because we want to keep those. That one we want to keep and I'm going to hit delete. And so that got rid of all those little rogue dots or whatnot. Now we're going to drag and select it again, right click and select make compound path. We're going to go up here to our line color. We're going to turn that transparent. We're going to go over to our fill color and we're going to make this black, black, black. So now we can go over, make sure you still have this selected, go over to your offset here and select offset. Let's see if it'll do it. You know what? I lied. Let's not do the offset yet. Let's size this down maybe to what we want it to be. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to go like 0.7 inches. I'm going to hold down my alt key on my keyboard and I'm going to use my scroll wheel to zoom in. Usually it's control and your scroll wheel is going to zoom in, but in um, the Silhouette Studio for some reason it is alt. So. You can see, you can't really tell the, all these little tiny weird little imperfections. You can't really see it. So now we're super zoomed in. We're going to go to our offset feature. We're going to select offset. I am going to change it to 0 0.030 and hit enter. I think that looks about good. So we'll hit apply. I'm going to drag and select this. I think I might make this a little bit bigger. Let's hit control G to group it together. Let's make this 0.8. That might be, ah, control Z. We're going to lock the aspect 0 0.8. 0 0.8. Okay. So now we have our sticker. These are joined together. So we can zoom out. I'm just holding my alt key and using the scroll wheel. I'm instead of scrolling up, I'm scrolling down. So that's zooming out. What I normally like to do is go to set my, um, what do you call these, uh, registration marks. I always drag them all the way over, get all the way over there. And what I normally do is insert a rectangle, eh, something like this. That is actually, let's do this. Let's do a big rectangle like this something like this and then let's draw a line i'm going to hold down the shift key and draw a line and then i'm also going to draw a line this way so i'm going to go back to my select tool this line does not need to be that big it's going to cut all the way across the paper that's not necessarily what we want we just want it to trim out our sticker sheets. Same with this one. I didn't need to make that that big. Okay. What is even happening? Stop it. Okay. I am actually going to change all of these to be blue so that we can have one cut depth for this one and another cut depth for this one. Let's highlight these again. Align. Align middle. Let's go over here. Uh, align center, align center. There we go. So now we can put our Starbucks over here. I'm going to hit control and then the right arrow and that should duplicate it. Yep. Control. And the, yep. Let's see how many we can fit across. We probably can fit four. So I'm just going to line these up. I'm going to select these guys again. We're going to space horizontally again. This is under the align menu. So we'll do this again. Control G. Move these up with my arrow. I'm just using my arrow keys. And then I'm going to hold the control key and hit the down arrow button. And that's going to keep making 
uh, a butt ton <laughs> of these Starbucks scripts and then we will align them. So let's do this again. I'm just trying to kind of fill this square. So what's going to happen is our Cricut, our Cricut, our silhouette is going to cut out um, these as a kiss cut and cut this all the way through. So it'll trim our pages uh, from our, or our sticker sheets from our big old page. So now I'm just going to select everything. I'm just, I clicked on that one and then I drag and select all the other ones and space vertically. And let's see, I might need to delete a row. Alt key is what I'm doing and then using the scroll wheel on my mouse to scroll in. And then for some reason I'm getting some lagging right now and I don't really know why. I don't even know if this is selecting all of those. Let's go like this and let's go like this. Okay, so now space vertically. That looks a little bit better. Cool. So now let's bring in our, let's zoom back out a little bit. A lot bit, a lot bit. Yeah, I don't know why this is lagging so much, but I'm just trying to get this kind of zoomed out. Okay, so now let's bring over something like our pizza night. See if we can drag that in. Pizza night. You can see it's huge as well. So let's see, let's scroll over this way and get this guy over here so we can get this Starbucks guys out of the way. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to trace, select trace area, drag and set our trace area. We're going to mess with the scale and threshold and whatnot until we get, sorry, I got to readjust how I'm sitting in the seat so we can get everything that we need uh, and get like a, a pretty solid, solid trace around this image here. I'm not quite sure. I don't have all this stuff running, so I'm not quite sure why this is lagging so much. So I, again, was just playing with the scale threshold and the high pass filter to get this all filled in. I'm going to hit trace. I'm going to select the background here and delete it. I am going to see, it doesn't look like there are too many little rogue dots. What we can do is right click and release compound path. And then we can go in and like, alternatively to that first option I showed you, we can kind of just select, where'd that other little rogue bitty go? I think he was right here. Yeah, and select what we want to, to, to delete. So now I'm just gonna drag and click and drag to select everything, set make, right click and set make compound path. Then we'll go back up here to line. We're gonna change that to transparent. We'll go set the fill as black. We will go over to our scale, maybe make it, I don't know, 0.75 inches again. So that makes it really tiny. We'll go back over here. I'm going to zoom in. This time I'm going to use my little zoom um, magnifying glass at the top. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. We'll go to offset, offset. I'm going to make this point zero, whoa, three zero, pizza night, hit apply. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. And we'll right click on this red offset here, right click, release compound path. This is when it's helpful to hold down your shift key and that'll unselect what you want to keep. So you don't have to click too many times and then I'm going to hit delete. Now I'm going to drag and select both the pizza night and the offset, hit control G, that's going to group it together. We'll zoom out a little bit and then we'll populate this little sticker sheet here. Boop, boop, boop. Zoom in, zoom in. No, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, 
zoom in. I'm doing that because I now I see, I swear, this is getting on my nerves. Why is it so laggy? I see this is probably going to be difficult, you know, or annoying for my um, uh, silhouette to cut. So I'm going to hold Shift and Command and G, and that's going to ungroup everything. We'll double click on this. I think you can do that. Yes. And then we can right click and delete. And we're just going to, let's zoom in a little bit more. We're just trying to get this little curvy do to go away so we can right click and delete this one, right click and delete this one, right click, delete this one, delete, right click, delete, right click, delete, right click, delete, uh, right click, delete. So that's probably going to be easier for our uh, silhouette to cut out. Less chance of tearing, uh, easier for you to remove from the sticker page, etc. So now I'm going to drag and click, drag and click, drag and select both Pizza Night and the Offset. Again, Control G to group it together. I'm kind of going to position this on my little sticker sheet where I want. I'm going to hold down the Control key and hit the right arrow. I think we can also fit about four on here as well. So now I'm going to select all of these, go to align. This is what happens when things lag. It doesn't select everything you're working on. Space horizontally, control G, make it a row. We can do control and then the down arrow a couple of times until we fill up our little sticker sheet. Come on. Let's see, how many more can I fit? Eh, let's do two. I think I'm going to have to delete one. Let's delete this one. Okay, so now we can drag and wait for this thing that's lagging. Boop, 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 and select all of our pizza nights. Then we'll go to space vertically. And let's zoom out a little bit and see how that looks. I think my silhouette could probably handle that. So now I have a Starbucks and a Pizza Night. We could repeat it for with a family time one, a laundry one, a Kroger run one, whatever you want to do. And then I, when I go, I would print this. Uh, you could also foil these. You could print this with your toner printer. Um, either, it depends sometimes. For this one, I would probably foil it first and then cut it. Um, if it's something not as intricate as this, I would cut it and then foil it. It just depends. You have to, I want to do a video for you guys. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I want to do a video on foiling um, because there's just so many tips and tricks and stuff that I've tried to learn and figure out. So I would print this. Um, I have a cut setting. We're going to go to advanced. Also, I have the designer edition, but I don't think we've done anything in here that you wouldn't be able to do um, with the free version. Um, and I'm going to set my blue to be cut through sticker paper. And I'm dragging that to the bottom because I want that to be done last. And the red I have as set to kiss cut sticker paper. And I will tell you that this doesn't mean anything because my blade is manually set at a certain depth and these are just measurements that I have found to work for it. My blade is not set at one and then I take it out and set it to three. I, I just, I have it set at whatever it's set at. I think it's at two right now. And then this is the pressure and speed that I have found that works for what I manually have my blade set at. So sometimes I don't even ignore or I don't even look at this reading here because it's not telling me anything. I have manually set my blade as something else. So that is how you can change your handwriting. So we can go from um, some ugly looking something that you just wrote out on a piece of paper. Like I said, you can just sit while you're watching TV or whatever and, um, you know, bring up, bring out a piece of paper. Make sure it's like a, a blank, like printer paper or something. You don't want any, any lines or anything in the way. Maybe you can put a lined paper under it so you can write straight or whatever. Um, but just sit down and write words out. I chose a pen that I know I really like my handwriting in. Sometimes it's the pen that matters. It's not your handwriting. Um, 
and you can just go to town, write out your words, make sure there's enough space, kind of like how I did here, make sure there's enough space around it so you can kind of crop it out, make your, you know, have room to make your offsets and stuff. Um, so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I will leave a link to some of my older silhouette tutorials. I haven't done a lot um, recently, and honestly, this is the first one. No, I've done a divider tutorial. This is the first one I've done in a while. I guess that one was the first one I'd done in a long while. Um, I usually try and share with you guys Cricut stuff. So um, let me know if there's something that you want to see maybe in silhouette. I can't guarantee anything because I really do like you know, rooting for your cricket. Um, but yeah, so check out the other tutorial videos I have on my channel and yeah, I will talk to you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.